Hello, I'm here to show you my two Dracula dolls. The first one I want to show you guys is the reboot. These are the G3 reboot that look very different from the original but still keep up with the original looks, I guess you could say. But here we go. I only have two Dracula of the G3 versions. She is the one that I link to the most, um, and I love how pink she is and I really adore her. She has really long hair, really long hair. I don't know what type of hair she has, but I do know that it does tend to tangle a bit. So I might have to wash her hair and then add like conditioner to it to make it a little bit softer and maybe help out with the tangles but regardless this is what she looks like she has pink on one side and then black on the other her bangs do have a v-shaped style and then she has her little headband right there and then this is her screening her pink makeup the heart on her cheek i think she looks really good she does have eyebrows, they're just under her bangs. And then these are her earrings right here. I like how they're like on the opposite side. She has this little, almost like a little vest with a bow shaped as a bat, which I really enjoy how much she has bats all over. Then she has this really pink, frilly, but sheer I really like it She also has her little shorts that are little hearts with little fangs on them. And then her little ring. It kind of looks like a like a ring pop. And it's attached through an elastic band. Next she has her almost knee-high length socks. It does have a little bit the fillets at the end and these are her shoes I love her shoes I think her shoes are one of my favorites of her entire outfit they kind of remind me of maybe like demonias they're just so cool and I love how much pink she wears okay here she goes once again and then this is the back of her Right here. Oh, her top isn't attached. There you go. They are all three separate pieces. And then overall, she does have a very light pink skin tone. She's so cute to me. The next one. This is considered, I think, her Gorgonizer. I think that's what it was called. But she came with her own like style caboodle version that I will be showing in a bit. This is the one that I am referencing for my Halloween costume. I am going to dress up as her for Halloween. I don't know if I want to make a video about that specifically, but I do want to try Mimi. Here her bangs are blunt cut and her hair has more of a pink highlight but mostly black hair and it's in a high ponytail right here and she has her little headband there are little bats and then this is her screen her makeup 
I like the little hearts that they added. I'm assuming they may be like freckles. But I'll compare these two so you can see them. She has a choker right here. And it's heart studs if you can see that. She has a mesh shirt with a little bit of lace ruffles at the end of it. And then this is her dress. The lips with the fangs, the hearts, the heart bat. This is the back of it. They are two separate pieces. And then her boots, her little like combat boots, Doc Martin type of. And then her little heart. She's so cute to me. Here they are. I just love looking at them. But look at her shoes. Like, aren't they like so nice? <laughs> I do have one of the reproductions. This is supposed to replicate the one that first initially came out and you can see I'm going to compare her to the one that looks the most they in general have like the round head but the body shape is what's different from what I understand they made her be slightly more chubbier even though I don't really think she's actually chubby and they made her shorter so she's supposed to be, I think, more petite. There you go. And here's the face. I think maybe the face is slightly larger. And the makeup is a little bit more in detail, in my opinion. But I do like the fact that she has almost like glitter right there on her face. I thought that was such a nice detail. I don't remember the original Monster Highs. I wasn't really into them when they first initially came out. So it's very nice to have one of them. This is her little outfit. I'm assuming it's supposed to be almost like a collared shirt under her little vest. And you can see how very thin she is. She's like teeny tiny. I don't even think she's like an inch on width. She's so small. Um, she has her little sheer mesh shirt like always. And here goes her little lace with the white little skirt. These are, I think, supposed to mimic like tights or whatever, but they don't go all the way down. And then her boots. These really remind me of Demonias. So nice. And then this is the back of her. You can see that she has like her spine is almost bent. And in her natural state. Let me just move her arm so you can see. Versus the dolls now. They're still slightly like bent but it's significantly more normal. In my opinion, and this is her hair, but here she has pigtails instead of her hair being up, but it's still like the mostly black with the pink highlights. And here goes my three. I think I'm just gonna show them to you up close again. I adore them so much. I would like to get the budget version the budget version looks a lot like the reproduction or the reboot sorry i mix those words up all the time um but i do want her the main difference in that doll is she doesn't have her what is it called i forgot the word but where she can move her her waist 
because here they had they can move the head and I know when it comes to Rainbow High the other version they don't have like the head rotation but Monster High does them I believe LOL OMG dolls also don't have the head rotation but Monster High does and they have the I don't remember the word, but where you can like move them and you can move their knees and whatnot. I know LOL OMG, you can't move their knees, they're just straightforward along with Brat Stalls. Brat Stalls don't have their joints um, being able to move. Out of these three, um, I do gravitate towards the G3, probably because I didn't grow up with the original version but it doesn't mean that I don't think she's cute oh I don't think I mentioned her little earrings these are her earrings little safety clips and then on this one you can see that her ears are pointed but these are it and now I want to show you guys the accessories that came with them oh before I show the accessories I wanted to briefly mention Laguna. She is the only other doll that I have of the Monster High. And I love Laguna. I was thinking of getting the G3 version, but unfortunately when it comes to the other dolls, those are the ones that I do prefer the original. But uh, I was a little sad not to get Laguna. I did get, as you can see, the reproduction. The only bad thing, I'm not a huge fan of her hair, or at least the material that her hair is made. You can see how it's very thin and tangly. I don't even want to attempt to wash her hair. I feel bad. I just I don't I don't know if I am skilled enough to like fix her hair. But this is her very briefly. I'm not gonna go into detail with her, but she's so cute and I loved her webbed hands. And then of course I want to mention her shoes. All of these shoes are awesome to me. Like these are the, like the one pair that I think I really genuinely want. Oh, I don't even like showing off my feet, but these shoes are so great. And then the pair of course that I really want in real life would be these two also. Okay, enough about rambling about them. I'm going to show you guys the stuff that they came in. So, I put them all in this. So, this doll is the one that came with this caboodle style accessory. She was a bit more on the expensive side, around $40. I got her on Amazon, and I wanted to unbox them in person, but it ended up being way too loud. But, yeah, so she came with this. And then she came with the smaller accessories that I'm going to show that are inside this. It's a matte black caboodle S style. And it comes with a pink handle and these little prints around it. A bow, tarot cards, hearts, little diamonds or jewels, um, stars with a moon. So much stuff, the ice cream, the lipstick, the classic logo, potions, a candle, spider webs, so, so much stuff. And then the opening clasp is the classic logo style. And then you open it. There you go. I don't want it to be too loud. And it's basically like a caboodle because it comes with this tray that you lift up. And here are the accessories for the second doll that I just mentioned. Okay, so I'm going to put her right here so you can kind of see that this is the doll that I'm referring to. Just briefly right here. She comes with this little mirror. This is so cute! It's the logo, basically. 
with sparkles and a little cheek blush and you open it and right here is supposed to go the little brush that comes in this is the little brush the only thing I don't really like is the fact that the mirror I don't know if you can kind of tell but it's like distorted you can kind of see how it makes my hands look a little off but I do have to remember that this was made for a child not an adult but regardless it's so cute so that's that um, it is like maybe like a little wonky I don't know if you can kind of see how it slightly moves, but I don't care. I really like it. It comes with stickers. I don't know if I want to use the stickers, but if I do, I think I'm going to use them as nail decals. I do my own nails, so I can basically do whatever I want. It comes with this little stamp. Heart stamp little heart in the end it does bleed so I don't really recommend it too too much but it's not bad if you want to use it as a stamp and then color over it and again this is for a child And it comes with these little hair clips, little wing hair clips for your hair, for whatever you want, honestly. And you can see the details right here, little spider webs. So that's what came in for this doll. Now the stuff that came with this one she was i got her for 25 dollars on amazon the only bad thing she did come completely smushed like her box came completely smushed i would be a little bit careful about that but from aside from that she was completely fine she came with this little case and this is the details it's super soft super soft Oh, her little animal, her little pet, he kind of looks like a little piggy, doesn't he look like a little piggy, so cute, so cute, I love the little eyebrows, her backpack, little quilted heart shaped with the wings it can open but it's very stiff so it's to the point where I don't even bother opening it and when you put the backpack on her it looks like she has wings and I thought that was a really cute detail and here's the cherry slushie that she comes with and you're able to pop it open in case you want to Here are her glasses. She comes with a pretzel that you can put into the holder. That is so clever. I feel like they put so much details in these little things. Here is her phone shaped as a little coffin. And then her sunscreen, which is SPF 500. Again, that was for this doll. And this is the inside of the Caputo style. It has almost like a little pillow of a heart. And then quilted inside. That was my Monster High collection. And I wanted to say thank you for joining me.